Hey everybody, it's Mr. G, and welcome to this episode of Just Corvette Crazy. Recently, I posted a video of a valve spring upgrade for an LS engine in a C5 Corvette. In that video, I mentioned that there was a series of yellow valve springs that were installed in the LS6 motors that were subject to breakage. I had a lot of people ask, how do I know if those valve springs are in my engine? So stay tuned, and you're about to find out. Hey folks, this is Mr. G, and welcome to Just Corvette Crazy. On this channel, we talk about Corvettes, we fix some Corvettes, and we love to drive our Corvettes. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out a lot. Thanks. All right, welcome back. So how do you know if your Z06 C5 Corvette has the bad valve springs? Well, first of all, what do the valve springs look like? So the bad valve springs are yellow in color. Somewhere in the early part of production year of 2002, GM received a bad batch of these valve springs. They're subject to braking. They used those valve springs in production models from 2002 up to 2003. So in the Z06 Corvette, the C5 Z06 Corvette with the LS6 motor, production years 2002 to 2003, it could be that your valve springs are subject to breakage. So these yellow ones. So the idea is to be able to determine whether or not these yellow things are inside your motor before they break. So I'm going to show you a couple of methods that you can actually go and verify whether or not these valve springs are still inside your motor or have they been upgraded to something else. The new GM valve springs are blue, valve springs aftermarket silver in color, gray in color, but the ones that are bad are yellow. So let's take a look and see if we can figure out how to find these valve springs. All right, so now we're right over top of the engine. What we are looking for are these yellow valve springs. These are the yellow valve springs that are subject to breakage in the LS6 engine. So what we need to do is somehow identify that we have the yellow valve springs inside this engine. So there's a couple ways to do it. One way is to remove the oil filler Grab a light and shine it right down into the oil filler and take a look. Sometimes, depending on the exact placement, sometimes you can get a glimpse of the side of one of the yellow valve springs as it kind of hangs out from underneath the rocker. If you can't see the valve springs, there's a couple other options for you. First one, if you have access to a color inspection camera, you can actually place the inspection camera into the engine, take a look around, and see if you can see valve springs. So there's one of the valve springs there right there. Okay, so the valve spring is right there. If that was yellow, then that would be one of the bad ones. If you do not have access 
to an inspection camera, then your next best solution is to remove the valve covers and take a look. So let's run through that procedure real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the fuel rail, put our oil cap back on. Next thing you need to do is you need to remove the coil packs. So in order to remove the coil packs, first you must remove the four spark plug wires from the coil packs. Unplug the coil packs so you lift up on the tab and ease out the plug. Then there are five 10 millimeter bolts holding on the coil packs. So one here, one here, there's three, four, and the fifth one is in the back, just kind of hidden. So what I like to do is remove these four, or first remove these three. One, two, three. I leave this one in so that the uh, coil pack doesn't go sideways on me as I try and get the hard to reach one. So depending, you might need yourself a, so this is the last one over here on this side. And then there's this one here. And then once you do that, the coil pack is free and clear and remove it out of the way. The next step, you have four bolts holding the valve cover on. You also have this vent line here that you must remove. So remove the vent line. And then remove these four bolts. One, two, three, and four. So these bolts don't come right out, they just loosen and then kind of slide free like so. So don't try and take them all the way out, they just come out free like that. Once you have all four of these loosened, your valve cover pops off. There you go. And then you can clearly see what the springs look like. So I have already replaced these springs. These are the ones that came out of it. So the ones that went in are kind of a silvery brown color. You can get ones that are shiny silver. The GM ones are blue. As long as they are not 
yellow. So if you pull that off and you notice that the valve springs are yellow and your vehicle is 2002 or 2003 Z06 with the LS6 engine, those valve springs are the ones that are in question. So to put this back together, what we need to do is reverse our process. Valve covers go on first. Just line it up. Make sure the surfaces are clean between the two. And these are eight millimeters. And what you're going to do is just kind of start them by hand. Make sure nothing gets cross threaded. And then you're going to snug them up. And you are going to tighten them to nine foot pounds of torque. So we have the torque wrench set for nine foot pounds of torque. And you go from the inside out. So I'm just going to snug these up a little bit. Just bring them down and then I'll do a final torquing inside to out for nine foot pounds. So now they're just finger tight and we're going to go to nine foot pounds. Inside. Inside. And then to the out. Quick double check. Everything is at nine. Next, we're going to reinstall the coil pack. And again, there's five bolts that hold that on. One, two, three, four, and then remember the fifth one is at the back by the firewall. And again, you might need to have some kind of a wobble extension or something to get at the back one. There's no torque rating for these, just get them snug. Four, I'll get the back one in a second. Plug in our wires. Plug in our vent line.
Next we want to put back our spark plug wires. Make sure they all snap. And last but not least, put back our fuel rail cover. Fuel rail cover. Push on the top. Push on the bottom. And we are good. So there you go folks, there's the procedure for identifying whether or not your LS6 has the subject yellow valve springs. So those valve springs appeared in the Z06, in the LS6 engine, in the years 2002, 2003. So if you find yellow valve springs in your 2002, 2003 Z06, you might want to upgrade to something else. So I hope this was helpful. Hopefully it prevents a failure in your engine. So until next time, Mr. G says, keep the rubber side down everybody. Take care.